G'day DeFi Degens, me Maniacs, it's Bruce, I'm back. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. A day in my DeFi life and a day in your DeFi life. I hope you're having a great weekend and I hope you're finding some profits wherever profits can be found in this meme maniac industry. Today I've got an interesting trading platform to share with you, trading the meme tokens. But quick announcement first, my DGen meme calls channel is taking off fast. We have multiple trading calls on DGen meme calls channel on Telegram. So make sure you check out the link in the description below. And our calls channel has just been approved to auto trade on DeFi Solana bots. So that is awesome and big news starting on Monday. So make sure you jump on DGen meme calls linked below and to celebrate being accepted to DeFi Solana bot to auto trade. We're gonna be giving away some Solana on Monday. Uh, so tune in to the channel, DGen meme calls to be involved and possibly win some of that Solana airdrop. Now today I'm talking about a meme trading platform that could be the next level for you guys to step up your game if you want something a little bit more than just Telegram. Now let's jump over to the website. And today we're talking about Mizar. Mizar is the ultimate trading bot for CEX and DEX. Now if you don't know what those means, CEX is central exchange and DEX is decentralized exchange. So this trading bot can trade on both centralized exchanges and de decentralized exchanges. And I'm gonna give you an example today of one aspect of their trading platform, the decentralized exchange on the base chain. Now Mizar has actually been around for quite some time. They're starting to really get traction and improving their product, opening up to the base chain. Now I know a lot of you have been calling out on my channel for me to start doing videos about base chain sniping and uh, investing in meme tokens on the base chain. Well, here is the first video on me doing base chain snipes and token buys and sells. So let's jump in and have a look at Mizar on the base chain. And when you first jump over to Mizar website, the link will be in the description of this video. If you do wish to try out Mizar, then jump on that link. It is a referral link and I will receive some benefits from your trading volume. So I appreciate any benefits that you provide by using that referral link linked below. Now here on the website, you'll see trade now, and then this option for C Mizar and D Mizar. Now these are centralized exchanges and decentralized exchange trading. Now what I said I was gonna do for you today is gonna show you an example of the DeFi side of Mizar. Now before we jump into the dashboard, you will need to sign up for Mizar. So jump on, sign up, make sure you get all squared away with the sign up process, fairly easy, enter your email, create a password, and then get jump and then jump into the dashboard. And once you have signed up, you'll be able to jump over to the decentralized exchange or the centralized exchange. Now, like I said, I'm doing the DeFi side of things today. So we're gonna jump over to Demizer. As per usual, DeFi DGens, do not take these videos as financial advice. I'm not giving you financial advice. And as always, do more research on tokens before you decide you want to invest because this is a very volatile side of the market, these meme tokens. And then always make sure you only invest in what you can afford to lose. So if you look at the website for Mizar, we have the C5 bots. Now I think I'm gonna be doing a few videos on Mizar, checking out the centralized exchange bots, as well as the decentralized exchange bots. So we have those two factors, C5 and DeFi. Now the DeFi side has a web-based bot, as well as Telegram bot. So they work kind of hand in hand a little bit, but today I'm gonna to go through the web-based trading side of things for Mizar and show you that side of it before we jump into the Telegram side. Probably the video number two, we'll be showing you the Telegram side of the DeFi bots, but today we'll focus on the web trading app. So the trading bots are the DCA bot, copy trading bot, smart trading terminal, API bot, sniper bot, and paper trading bot. So there's plenty of applications available through Mizar. The current blockchains available is Ethereum and now Base is one of the new ones. The other blockchains that are coming available will be BNB, Arbitrum, and Solana, and I'll be hanging out for that Solana blockchain to come on board with this particular protocol because their trading bots are very, very well set up to snipe, buy, and sell meme tokens. And of course, Solana is the king right now of meme tokens, so I can't wait for them to launch on Solana as well. My experience with trying out Mizar, the DeFi side, sniping base tokens has been very, very good. I think this is gonna be one of my favorite web-based trading apps to utilize for sniping meme tokens. So from the website, once you've signed up and logged in, you can jump over to the dashboard. We'll just have a look at the Demizer side of things, the DeFi bots that they have available and the DEXs they run from, Uniswap, PancakeSwap, and SushiSwap. Now we have launch app or launch bot. Now the application is the web-based application and the launch bot is the Telegram application. Now, like I said, we're gonna show you the web application today to try and get an idea of how that works. And I'm gonna give you a run through of that really shortly. Um, then we have Things like the best on-chain signals for your bots. Now what this particular application does is it skims all of the Telegram bots 
all of the calls channels that are available for Telegram. It finds some of the best meme tokens available for you to trade with. Now the applications available, Snipe, Trade and Bots. So today we're going to show you how to snipe a token on the base chain with this application and also just buy and sell general gems that you might find with the freshly launched tokens. Now these calls channels are actually available on a marketplace. This is something I'm going to go through in another video, not today, but you can copy trade some of these calls channels directly on this app. But we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that in another video. Today it's all about introducing you to the web app and sniping base tokens, giving you an idea of how that works. So we're gonna launch the app and next week we're gonna jump into the bot, the Telegram bot. But today we'll launch the app the web-based version of sniping base or Ethereum tokens uh, through Mizar on the dashboard here. Now, once you open up the dashboard, you'll notice that it looks very similar to any kind of centralized exchange dashboard where you trade, buy and sell tokens generally through centralized exchanges. But this has got an edge to it in regards to buying and selling meme tokens and sniping new launches as well. So I'm gonna run through how that works for you today. So like in any normal centralized exchange, you've got the token and you've got your chart and you've got your information at the top here. Now, what you're going to need to do first before you get started in, in regards to buying and selling and sniping these meme tokens on the base chain is you're going to need to select the base chain up here and start or create a new wallet. So first you're going to need to create a new wallet. So just hit that plus button to create a new wallet. Now you can create multiple wallets if you do wish to do that. I've created my base chain wallet already, but just give your wallet any name you want and then add that to your account. So once you create a wallet, it will show up here. My first wallet I've got, I've got here, it's called Snipe One. What you need to do then, once you've created your wallet, you're going to need to add funds to that wallet in order to start trading. So you click on these three dots icon on the right hand side and you can deposit you can send, you can edit or delete. Now, if you want to deposit funds, just click on the deposit section and then your options will come up. This is a wallet that's on the base chain. You obviously want to send Ethereum over to start trading these coins, these meme tokens on base chain. And then this is your wallet address here. So you just need to copy that wallet address and from, whatever you, from wherever you want to send those funds, you can do it from a centralized exchange or you can do it from your MetaMask wallet on the base chain. Send over Ethereum to that wallet for you to get started buying and selling meme tokens and sniping those new launches as well. So therefore you've signed up, you've logged in, you now have a new wallet on your dashboard here. Great thing is they have this little ticker here which is showing you the hot contracts. You can go in and start having a look at some of these hot contracts, but what I love to do is I love to get into the research section. Now you also have Marketplace, but that will come in a future video. I'll talk about that in more detail in the future. But if you want to start sniping new tokens or new launches, hit on research right at the top here and therefore you have uh, telegram calls. All of these calls coming through here are scraped from telegram call channels and you can see from the list here there's a calls column and it tells you how many calls have had from different call channels. So you can see here RNT Ethereum has had four calls and you can click on that and it'll tell you which calls which calls channel it came from. Trending on Dex Screener, Apes Call Center, Mad Apes Gambles, by Bot Tracker. So there's four channels that have called the RNT token which is actually going fantastic 44.5x. As you scroll across these contracts you'll see the current price and the current market cap and the starting liquidity and the current liquidity. Pool amount 1.4 Ethereum and this token is about nine minutes old. So these are very freshly launched tokens these ones from the Telegram calls channels and it will show you which ones are doing well in terms of the verified uh, contract and also whether the honeypots or the buy and sell taxes are not so good. Shows you here the contract is not verified and also the liquidity is quite low. So as you can see, they have these nice little icons here that light up to different colors to tell you what to look out for. Obviously the red being a negative indication, but we have some greens here and we have some yellows as well. So interesting to, to search around for some contracts that have just launched in the last few minutes. Now if we go over here, we have a status column as well, just launched or launched. And then we have updates here that where, where tokens have been a rug pull as well. So if we search through and research these tokens, we can find some gems, but we can also find some really not so good tokens as well that will rug pull. So we've got to keep an eye out for those. And we have actions over here to favorite these particular tokens. If you want to favorite them, you can go to Dex Tools and have a look at the details of the contract. We can go to Base Scan and have a look at the blockchain details there. We can go to X and have a look at X and see if there's anyone talking about this token on X as well. So this is very, very interesting the way you can research these tokens. And here you have BCOB block chads. Only one tweet about that. So you can get some interesting feedback or interesting information about these tokens doing research on this particular section here. Now you'll notice there's also a new pools section. So we have telegram calls of tokens that have just launched and we have 
we also have a new pools section just here. So click on these new pools and you can filter out uh, some of the things that you want to focus on, not launched, uh, chains, so I'm selecting base chain, and then you can select liquidity range, I'm not worrying about that right now, and you can select market cap range. So I'm gonna keep these all open, uh, these particular ones open, but I want base chain and I want ones that haven't launched yet. So we've got the new pools that haven't launched and some of them do have some updates in regards to contract verification and liquidity as well. But really we just wanna find a token that looks pretty good to be able to snipe upon launch. So you can buy into these Telegram tokens that have launched, buy the dip or buy ones you think might pump even further or you can buy sniped tokens. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna have a look at one of these tokens from the Telegram calls channels and we're gonna have a look at RNT. Now RNT has had four calls on different channels and has also done a 36.5x so it's already pumped quite hard. Market cap is 137,000 uh, and the liquidity is right now is 45k. Now if we jump on this and it'll just launch in our dashboard. Real, <laughs> okay. Some of these tokens don't have the greatest of names but it has pumped. Now it's coming down for a correction. Potentially this is a good entry point for RNT. Now we want to jump over to the one minute candles if we can. Okay, there's the one minute candles. So it's having a nice dip right now. And if you look at the token across the top here, you'll see underneath it's got some information about contract not verified, not a honeypot and tax free. So that's all positive. Uh, contract not renounced, no owner contract. What is also good to do is to jump on and copy this contract and then go to d.fi and d.fi scanner will scan base tokens as well and give you a bit more information about the, the contract. So I like to do a double check on some of these contracts, find out a little bit more about what's happening with the contract so I can understand and potentially invest by the dip or not, depending on what the details are in relation to the contract. Now, if we jump back over to the dashboard, it says the contract is not verified, not renounced, and no owner contract. So these aren't deal breakers so much. The one great thing is no honeypot. Now there's a lot of honeypots that come through on all chains. Important not to get involved in a honeypot because if you invest in a honeypot, you will not be able to take your investment out. So a honeypot is where the contract is frozen and you can no longer withdraw your funds, but only verified or whitelisted, uh, whitelisted wallet addresses can actually remove the funds. So it means you've lost your funds, uh, and you've been rugged. Now let's jump over to d.fi and have a look at the contract. Now this hasn't really scanned it very well. You can see underneath the scan, it's got the actual contract here and it's 18 out of 100. So if we jump over to this, it will tell you the reasons why it's not a good uh, contract. Missing liquidity, recently deployed contract, dump risk. A private wallet owns a significant percentage of this token total supply. So there's potential for the dump risk there. Recently deployed, deployed contract. So it's fairly recently launched, that's no problems. So jump back over to the dashboard. I just wanna show you how to get into a token if you want to buy the dip in this case for RNT. Now your buy settings are down below here. You select the wallet that you want to buy with. You can do a market order or a limit order. But I'm gonna do a market order and I'm gonna do 10% for an example and you can set your gas limit here. Uh, you can change the gas limit if you do wish to. I'm just gonna leave it as default. Now, uh, underneath the chart, you'll see these buttons here and these settings also. Now, these settings are listed by default. Take profit settings are 50% at 50% and the next level of take profits is 100% taking 50% of your bag. So you're selling 100% of your bag after 100% profit. So you're making a profit in that regards. But this is the default settings that every token will launch with. What you can do is create your own settings and save those here under these save buttons. Now I have two different types of settings. I have conservative settings, which is the default, and I have my, bat, my moon bag settings, which goes up to 500% uh, for take profits. And you also have your stop loss, you have trailing stop loss, and you also have your stop loss uh, settings underneath there if you do wish to set those up. Now for my moon bag settings, I do have my stop loss set up. For my conservative settings, I don't have any stop loss. I just wanna get in and out as fast as possible. Now if the token dumps, the token dumps, I just take that on the chin and we move on. Now this token is starting to pick back up again. I wanna use my conservative settings, take profit at 50% and take profit at 100% with no stop loss. Now you can pick here over here the fast snipe option. If you leave that unchecked, it will pop up with a window saying you to confirm your transaction or confirm your investment. I'm just gonna leave this as fast snipe. If you want to bypass that window, you can do by just checking on fast snipe and it will automatically snipe that token for you as you buy it. I'm gonna do 10% of my bag. My TP settings are my conservative settings. So let's invest in RNT and show you how that works. As you can see there, once I pick, once I sniped that token, it shows up here on the left-hand side and I'm already up 4.5% because it's having a nice pump. Uh, this will update as the token updates. This shows you your current holdings that are open still. And over here we have the history. You'll see my history over here. I've been up and down today. 
I've had some wins and I've had some losses. I've had a rug as well, got into a rug. I've had some canceled scheduled snipes that did not go off because I had my filter settings too high to snipe those tokens. We'll go into that in two seconds. But yeah, over there you have your history and you have your current open bag. That's all it is, very, very easy. Don't forget to check or uncheck it fast snipe. If you want to confirm your transactions, leave that unchecked. Now that is how you buy into a token that you want to buy the dip on. That's very, very easy. Do your research on the research tab. If you want to close out that trade, you can click on the three dots here and close that trade. That'll ask you to sell your percentage, whatever percentage you wanna sell, whether it's 100% or 50%, you can choose that and just hit confirm and close that trade. And that will move over to your history tab as being closed. Right now, we're just gonna let that ride, see how that plays out. Let's jump back over to the research, find out if we can snipe a token that hasn't launched yet. So jump over to the new pools. I'm gonna leave that status as not launched and also on the base chain. And we're gonna leave these liquidity ranges and market cap range as is, so we can see all the tokens that have been created or listed that have not launched yet. It takes about a minute for this to load up to get all those tokens that haven't launched yet. So here we have the tokens that haven't launched yet. This one is 12 seconds, 15 seconds old, just been listed. Now let's have a look down the list here and see if we can find one that looks like it's half decent. Some of these tokens, uh, once they get listed here, they launch pretty quickly. So let's have a look at MCFC. Just have a quick look and see if there's anything on X for MCFC, MCFC. So there is a little bit of talk about MCFC on the Binance Smart Chain. So there's potentially something there for that token. So let's go to MCFC. Okay, so that's interesting. That's already launched. So let's just refresh that and find a token that hasn't launched yet. So this is NN, which is 10 minutes old. Find out whether this one has launched yet. And this one has already launched. So let's go back. So these tokens that list that haven't launched or a fairly new listings, uh, they launch pretty quickly. So you've got to be quick to find one hasn't launched yet. So we'll just refresh that and see if we can find uh, a new list of tokens that might not have launched yet. So let's have a look at MTK. So MTK, it looks like it has not launched yet. So this is a token that we can set up for a potential snipe upon launch. And what we want to do is we want to check these all these boxes here for safety measures, like you would normally do for buying a token on the dip, like that example I just showed you earlier. You can choose your settings right here, your buy amount, your take profit settings. You can also change those again as well to whatever you want. Now normally for sniping tokens, I'll leave it as conservative, sell it at 50% and 100% and then no stop loss, trying to get that rise as the token launches. So from here, you can select your settings like you did previously, but over on the right, you have the safety measures here. So check all of these boxes here and then check what liquidity range you want. Now, if you want to leave it as a low liquidity range, we can do that. So you snipe the token you want to snipe. So $100 to $10,000 or leave that open to so your snipe tokens that launch anyway. So 100 to 50,000 and then market cap range we can go from 1,000 to 100,000 and then tax protection. So for any buy or sell tax that is above 15%, it will not snipe that token. Now these can be changed. Anti-honeypot, you don't, you don't want to snipe a token that is a honeypot. So you've got to be real careful to make sure you avoid those things. Gas limit, you can change that. I just leave that as default. I just select 10% of my bag at take profit 50% and 100% and I've set those settings there and we just hit snipe. And of course, I've got the fast snipe set up so that will automatically snipe and I will not need to confirm my transaction. And once that snipe goes through, it will pop up here on the left saying it is pending. Now, once that token launches and it attempts to snipe that token, this will change the status obviously to having an actual open position. Now, if it doesn't meet any of my criteria here, then this snipe will not go off and the token will launch without me sniping it. So there's a safety measure there, which is really good. I really like that about this particular dashboard and about Mizar, it's really, really impressive. Now don't forget you have these options here to close or cancel a trade if you wish to cancel. This snipe, which is still pending, you can cancel that if you do wish to, or if the, if the snipe doesn't go off, you can cancel it as well. Now if you want to review your open positions, you can just click on the open position here and it will pop up with a nice chart and it'll show you what profit you currently have, unrealized and realized. And it will show you your actual take profit settings that you have right under the chart here. So this is your buy position here, and these are your take profit positions, and these are the planned positions. Once these positions are triggered, it will change to executed, and you'll be able to start seeing some of those profits rolling in from those take profit levels. Again, you can jump over to Dex Tools, you can jump over to the, the base scan, you can jump over to X and check out the trend on X at the moment for your tokens that you've actually got positions on, and there's plenty of activity for RNT right now, so it seems to be pumping nicely. And you can also jump over to Gecko Terminal, 
which is very, very helpful. Now you can watch your open positions from here or just close that down and jump over to another open position that you want to review. Now this is obviously the pending snipe that we've got set up. It'll give you the details of what your settings are, your take profit and what your actual safety measures are. So it's very impressive by Mizar. So there is the web interface for Mizar for trading on the base chain, trading, me buying and selling meme tokens. You can also look at these popular pools here and it'll tell you over the right hand side what calls they have and how, off how recent the calls are. Always do more research on these tokens guys. Jump into d.fi, recheck that contract to make sure it's all good. When you start looking at sniping tokens on launch, it will also give you a little tick here sniping opportunity. Obviously Mizar thinks that this is a potential sniping opportunity. You will see here none of this stuff is verified here because it hasn't launched yet. But once this does launch, then Mizar will check these details and obviously not snipe that token if it doesn't meet your safety measures that you've set here. So this is very impressive by Mizar to set up this web application, scanning all of those telegram channels for all those good calls and scanning the blockchain for newly listed tokens that haven't launched yet. So very, very impressive. I'm looking forward to getting into this a lot more in the coming weeks in regards to the Telegram side of things and also the central exchange side of things and also the copy trading side of things. You can pick channels to copy trade automatically through Mizar, which is really, really impressive. Uh, so again, this is on Ethereum and base chain with Binance coming and also Solana coming very, very soon. So that is sensational for Mizar. I really like this uh, particular application, this particular project because you have the web-based side of things and it's also away from the keyboard. Once you've set your settings and started sniping tokens, you can walk away and let the bot handle the trade for you. So that I find very, very impressive. So that is my initial review of Mizar on the base chain, buying and selling meme tokens, sniping new launches, very, very simple stuff. Uh, I'll do more videos in the weeks to come. So keep an eye out for those on the channel. Don't forget about DGEN meme calls, linked in the description below. We're going to be launching on DeFi Solana Bot on Monday. So keep an eye out for that launch. It's going to be exciting times. All right, DeFi DGens, have yourselves a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon in the next video. Cheers. Bye for now. Now, this is the first application that I've actually reviewed in regards to base chain. Uh, there are other applications available for base chain, but this one on the web is certainly one of my favorite ones to use on the web interface, which is very, very good. My DeFi life, I'm